Hey, it's Mike with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it is Thursday. It's uh, July 29th, and we're about to wrap up another week. This is, uh, or another month, I mean, and uh, we are going to wrap up this week today as well. No chart lessons on Fridays. Uh, any of you have been following along know that well by now. Uh, but I like to repeat it because we get people coming in and they wonder, they send me emails wondering what happened to the video on Friday. But I'm not doing them on Fridays, only Monday through Thursday. So uh, just gives me a break and lets me get out of here early on Fridays. But let's talk about the uh, chart today. It's a spike and channel up. This the, Much easier trading today. Not a lot of trades, but much easier trading today. Um, we had the spike and channel up. This is a clear two-tiered channel working higher. We had a break, two legs up to a new high, and then we started trending down. Perfect price action. Um, nice clear channel coming back down. Uh, fairly weak channel actually and there was this is the way I originally drew it and I think you could trade it this way with no problems but there there's actually a little spike in channel down here as well and you can see that right there so if you saw it like that nothing wrong with that it, it's either one of them really gets you to the same place the only thing is if you saw the spike in channel it probably makes it a little easier to take a couple of these trades here where if you don't have the spike in channel, prices look like they're really struggling to go lower, and there's a lot of overlap here, especially from here on. I wouldn't take any of these trades. So there's really not a setup there anyway, even on the green one at that point uh, before 3 o'clock. So just not – so, it, again, it doesn't really matter how you saw it. It's not much difference there. But let's back out. We'll go through the trades. And you had to be patient this morning because it was really 9 o'clock before we had a decent setup. So – we just kind of went sideways right here. And it's possible your chart might have been slightly different. You might have, a, a, there's a couple that setups here. If the signal bar was right, you probably could have taken. Actually, there's one here. I didn't mark it uh, because we're coming back. You do have a little break here at a new low, but we're not back to the trend line. And there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of sideways stuff right there. So I didn't mark it, but that's a possible higher low. I'll go ahead and put it on there and we'll talk about it when we get there. Or when we get to it, but um, that's a possibility. So, and there, and there may be some others in here that you might have looked at similarly that you might have considered, but where you, if you had a good signal bar, it might have been okay for you. But um, there's a couple. Of, I think there's at least one second entry in here that I liked, but I didn't get a good signal bar on my chart. So, and when that happens, not much you can do about it. So. So let's uh, back out here and talk about these trades and wrap this day up. Like I said, there's not a lot of trades today, so it's not going to take long. First trade I saw is this one right here. Notice we got the trend line working up. Uh, we get it off the first two swings. We actually come back and test it here. Not a good setup, though. And then we uh, make this nice bullish bar here. The second entry technically triggered right here, but because these are two bar matching lows and really only one tick difference is off the key entry point, you might want to enter right here above this bar. Or you might even let it break above this bar and drop your limit order back where it would have been on this one and enter that way. Generally, you don't, you know, in t inside bars are not great signal bars, but the fact that there's a key entry point here and we, we tried to go lower once, twice, three, four, five times in a row, uh, you may take that trade, especially when you've already got one leg up and you're looking for that measured leg like so. Um, I like that trade. It, it's it's a little aggressive, and you need to be a pretty good chart reader to kind of understand all that's going on there, but I like it. Um, we ran up and made a new high, and then we get a first entry, and you come down and you get a second entry. There's a second entry there, but that's not a very good signal bar. So based on that, and there's a little bit of congestion there too. So based on that, you cannot take that trade. However, this is pretty much a double bottom here. So that's a first entry, and it, that one tick lowers a second entry. So if it breaks higher there, you'll probably get a scalp. Uh, so there's another one. You might take that one, but it's not the best setup ever. So uh, just keep that in mind. And then we come up here and we take finally take off, but you just really don't get a good setup on this uh, to take it. And I don't see any way to get in this trade coming up. And, of course, we go to the other side up here and we start working back. 
Uh, I don't think you want to take a short here yet, though. So you'd still be looking for longs. And we just talked about this one. Notice your new high, and you get a first entry, and you get that second entry right there, but it's not a very good signal bar. It's kind of an odd place. You're below the EMA. But this turns out to be a higher low, and that's a very low-risk bar, six ticks. So fairly low risk. You can get in it using our eight-tick rule. Uh, wouldn't have mattered. It, it never backed up. Uh, or would have stopped you out. It did come back and test that bottom again, or that low again. But um, this pushes on up for a quick scalp, and then two legs back, and you get another chance to enter on a second entry. And this time you get a good signal bar, and again, only four ticks. So again, very low risk. And this is the, if you didn't enter here, well, even if you entered here, this was the better trade. I, I like entering here again. Unfortunately, it didn't take off. Real quickly, it took a little while to work on out of this trading range here, this yellow trading range, before it pushed higher. But I like that trade right there because that's almost, it's, it's very low risk, key entry point, good signal bar, second entry long. It is in this range, but being off that key entry point, that makes it a pretty powerful move. So I like that trade. And then, of course, we run up, you get a first entry, and then you push up, you test the height, it pulls back, and it bounces again right off the key entry point. Gives you a failed second entry long uh, or short, and so I like going long there. I would, you may consider letting this break higher and trying to drop a limit order. You just want to have room to get out before those highs there. So make sure you got your six ticks you need there. And in order to do that, you might have to use a limit order there, depending on what your signal bar looks like. On mine, I think that's exactly, uh, would have been a four tick. Well, it wouldn't have mattered because it would have worked anyway, but if it would have touched that and turned down, it might have been, a, I think it was a four tick failure on my chart. And so just be aware of that, that you need enough room to get out. And we had pushed higher once before. Uh, and we actually are made a higher high there than here. So that's a good sign. We're making higher highs and higher lows here. So we're probably going to go higher. But it, you can't ignore that resistance across there. you got to pay attention to it. So uh, anyway, we just keep working higher. Uh, no no entries in here. And then we get a first entry. And then there's, it backs up right there. Okay, I had a little interruption there. But uh, we were working back up here. You got to pull back here. You got to overshoot, so no surprise that you really got to pull back here. And this technically is a second entry long. Notice it comes back and it goes higher. And the fact that this bar doesn't go higher, it doesn't break lower, but that's still a correction. But you don't want to enter out of that congestion. It, it turns out that it's a nice move up, but you don't want to enter out of that. So we run up here. I did not mark this trade either, but notice you got this new high, first entry, second entry. We try to go higher three times, and each time it makes a lower high. Uh, you're still a long way away from the EMA and way past due of coming back to it. So that's actually not a bad place to enter. It's a little more aggressive and a little more advanced. You need to be a good chart reader because you can really screw these up on these. You know, it's it's an uptrend all the way. And there's no reason to really be shortened yet. So other than the fact that if you realize what's going on here. And somebody actually asked me about a second entry long here which notice there is a first entry, second entry, but don't take a second entry long right there that far away from the EMA. You just don't do that because this is what will happen to you. It'll go three or four ticks if it goes that far and then it reverses and you get stopped out. So yeah, if anything, you're looking for a short here. You're definitely not looking for a long this far into the move. So I hope that's clear to you. Oh, we run back first entry and there's a second entry right here, but again, Look at the congestion. We're under the EMA. We're not back to the uh, trend line. No reason to go along there. If you did, you got burned again. So wait, be patient, let these play out. Notice you finally get a close outside there, move to a new low, and then um, we actually make another new low. Comes back and tests this support one more time, but I think that's because this is not a very convincing close outside. Uh, yeah, it closes outside. And you can see people were just not ready to buy yet. And so it comes back and it tests it again. And then look how it moves on either. It still took a few minutes to get rolling. Once it started climbing, people say, are saying, hey, yeah, we're probably going to make that new high now. But you just don't get a chance to go long on that, unfortunately. And you don't want to be going short down here. 
uh, not on that, not without some kind of trap or really good setup. But we make that next tie and we pull back and you get a first entry and then you make a higher low and a second entry with all that support and then a higher double low on a higher entry. I like, or higher low, I like going long right there because a lot of times you're going to get two legs up. There's, there's not much of a, we did make a new high, I think by a tick right there, but I think we did. Yeah, so we made a new high by one tick right there. So that's not, it wouldn't surprise me at all for prices to test that again. To get a sure enough new high with two legs up. And that, so I like that long. And then the better trade is even to wait on, see if you get a reversal with a failure, which you get right here. And it runs to a new high. But sometimes you don't get that. So if you're, if you wanted to go long here, this is probably where you need to do it. But if you didn't and you see this opportunity, definitely take it. That's going to be an easy scout, most likely. Uh, and then, so now you got the break of this blue channel, the close outside right there, convincing close outside, and two legs up to a new high. And I haven't measured these, but I bet if you do, they're if they're not a measured move, they're real close. So yeah, we didn't quite get a measured move. Uh, and then we sold off from there. And here's your per, a pretty good reversal. Notice the new high. You try to go higher once. You push through the EMA. You pull back. You try to go higher. You got a second entry there. It fails. Go short right there. Boom. That's a quick, easy move. You get an easy runner on that. And then you actually make a double top right here. And so you could technically count this as a first entry, second entry right here. And, you, and not only that, you got a good signal bar. So you may go short right there. Uh, I'm not crazy about that one because it doesn't even get back to the EMA quite. Uh, there is a little overlap, but it would have worked. Um, and it is a and it is a failure, so it may act as a trap. It do, it doesn't like it really does. So, but it's a failed second entry long that has the possibility of giving you another nice leg down, similar to this move right here. I, I think it does actually give you that move, but it's not. It's not a real fast and furious one. That's about where we bounced before this thing broke lower. I don't know. I don't know what was going on here. Doesn't doesn't really matter. People have really sold off here late in the afternoon. But anyway, we worked on down. You can, this is just too too much congestion and sideways until finally you make a first entry, second entry, and notice you made that high. You test it once. You test it twice. So I like going short right there on that trip double test. But it comes back and actually breaks higher and gives you a second entry short. Uh, you could go short below this bar, but the better move is to probably, on the, it breaks higher first and turns down on the trap, go short one tick below that bar on the engulfing bar, most likely. And that takes us into 2 o'clock. Again, this is just too much sideways and congestion. Or actually, it's 3 o'clock now, so uh, I don't see any more trades in there. And that's what I saw for today, so... Uh, again, it was very clear price action compared to what we usually get. And, uh, just not a lot of trades today. There's a lot of sideways action. I mean, really, from we started going sideways here about 8.15, 8.30, all the way to almost 9.30. And then we shot up real quick, and then we just did the same thing. We just kind of went sideways again for... Uh, all the way into one o'clock, really. But it's still got that upward bias, and this is all still part of this blue trend playing out with the break and two legs to a new high, and then the clear yellow channel, which actually looks like a spike and channel into the green channel. So either way you saw it, or both ways, it. Uh, and if you saw the green channel, that really helps you on this second entry right here. Uh, it doesn't matter. The reason I say that was because it, it, we never get back to the yellow trend line. But that doesn't matter because you can see all that resistance right there. And you're really playing that resistance as well. It's just as strong as that trend line over here. Maybe stronger because it's more, it's the more current pattern that's going on, really. So, good trading day. Uh, not a lot of trades, but a much clearer price action than what we've had yesterday. So, uh, in the end, we really didn't have much movement. We almost closed at the same, we closed up slightly. Considering we had all that movement today, we really closed up slightly. And there's no surprise here because this is that 4,400 level. That's a very emotional price level. And when prices approach those century marks, 
they tend to bounce around and test it from both sides a few times before prices finally figure out, hey, we're go we got some support here around 4,400 and we're going to go higher or we just can't breach this 4,400 and stay there. So we're going to back up and probably correct for a little bit and then make another run at it. And that's just really typical for those price levels. So no surprise that we came back here and that's where we're trading right around 4,400. So we'll test it and sometimes prices will just be four, five, ten points above it, and four, five, ten, just back and forth for a little while. So we'll have to see. Sometimes, every once in a while, you blow right through it and never look back. Uh, but that's not most. That's not typical. Most of the time, you'll you'll hover around that area, ten or fifteen points either side, testing it a few times from both sides. So anyway, I'm going to wrap it up for today. It's going to wrap it up for the week. Uh, we'll be back Monday, start a new month on Monday. Hope you had a good trading day. Hope it's been a good, a good month for you. Uh, we'll be back Monday. I'm done for today. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.